Alrighty, hello there everybody, and welcome back to Raft. Uh, so last time, uh, our big accomplishment was creating our receiver station. Uh, and I can throw our battery back in here. And uh, three antennas which connect up to it. Uh, but sadly, it does not work. Uh, we need to put it up to a higher altitude. Looks like the shark's been nibbling on our raft here. Uh, which means that we need to make our raft taller. Uh, we also explored this island last time. I think that we are ready to cast off. Uh, so let's get back underway here. And uh, pop open the sails. And we should be good to go. Uh, let's try to get a little bit better off on our hydration and food before we get too far underway here. There we go. And uh, may as well keep cooking up some, uh, excuse me, some materials in our furnaces that we made last time. Uh, I think now that we have all of our um, electronics made here, uh, we can probably deprioritize um, copper quite so much. Uh, it looks like we are headed directly toward a pretty big island here, more or less directly toward it. Um, <clears throat> I don't think that we need to really stop there. Uh, most of our priority, I think, is going to be uh, collecting wood today so that we can be building up the raft. Um, and uh, that will not really be helped by stopping at an island. So, may need to adjust course here just a little bit to dodge it. Um, but we will need to pretty soon start planning out our second floor. Um, so as I uh, as I just kind of did there, you can uh, switch materials that your hammer is building with, um, or switch not switch materials. Uh, you can switch. Uh, what am I trying to say? Blueprints, plans, um, and that is what we are doing here. So I think we're just gonna, at least on corners of our build, maybe have some standard walls. And as you can see, oh, they have half windows now. And then the other interesting thing is you can see as I hover over some of these, um, there are other types of walls. So like I could do a thatch wall if I really wanted to. Um, and that would be made mostly of leaves with a little bit of wood. Because I want our raft to look nice and sturdy, I don't think we're going to go with thatch. At least right here. Uh, we may do that elsewhere just for a little bit of variation. Um, and at some point we may almost like upgrade our raft to these solid wood walls. Um, they look really nice. Um, but it is a lot more expensive. So for now we're going to just use normal wooden walls. Um, just like that. And one thing I also wanted to check, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I wanted to basically make sure that we're using an even number um, for the width and everything here of our raft. Um, that's by no means a hard and fast rule, but for making supports and everything on the raft, even numbers end up being a little bit more... Uh, it ends up being a little easier to work with. Um, they did make one change um, by adding a new building material that does um, make it a little easier to work in odd number widths and lengths, but um, 
it is still, it can be a little bit nicer just to deal in even numbers. Um, so with that in mind, I think we're also gradually going to be expanding the back of our raft uh, by one. Um, we are going to need more plastic for that. So just either as some drifts by or as we get some in our collection nets, we'll try to scoop some of that up. And, uh, and that is that. But that way, we can have, basically, that be the corner. We'll have another corner here. Right now, the water purifier is blocking it. And then we'll have one more corner right there. Do need to eat some food here because we are getting quite hungry. And that is basically, this will be kind of the inside of our, of our raft. So that's one, two, three, four, but wait, did I count this out wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six. So what's going on? Oh, right, 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 right. I haven't built all the platforms out here yet. So, let's go ahead and sleep. Get us some daylight. Mostly for your guys' sake, just because I know it's a lot easier to watch things in the day when you can actually see. Um, and now that we are around the island, well, actually, we are kind of heading straight with the wind now. That's unfortunate. I was hoping the wind would, if anything, shift that way. Um... Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, okay. There's one more. Just need two more foundations, and we'll be set. But for now, I can do that. But yeah, we're leaving basically a border around uh, the built-up part of our raft so that the walls don't get taken out. If the oh we learned a bathtub that's kind of fun. Uh, if the shark ends up taking um, uh, an edge piece out, we basically have some time to rebuild the edge uh, and save the walls of the ship and a candlestick. How nice! All right, let's go ahead and build one more flotation there. So now this one is safe because otherwise, previously technically the shark could have been trying to go after this piece right here, and if this would have gone away this wall would have been destroyed too, and that would have been uh, rather unfortunate. Because we do lose then all of those materials. Alright, that should be enough to build that last one. Very good. So we will have to rearrange a few things on here um, as we start uh, building this in, just because the, uh, uh, the wall is going to have to go through here to some extent. Um, <clears throat> but that is perfectly fine. Um, but eventually what we will also be doing is then putting some flooring up top, just like this. <coughs> and I need to grab a drink. And I'm going to basically empty this real quick and then pick it up. Run and grab this barrel. Oh, there we go. And we're going to move the water purifier just a touch. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, we'll set that there. I think that's roughly where I want it. Let's 
See if I can catch one of these barrels that went by us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I scooted this forward. That won't interfere with the catch net at all, um, but it will let us put a, uh, a wall right there. We may need to scoot the, um, the grill up just a bit as well. Uh, but I can grab a wall, and it does look like the grill is in the way, so let's grab it. And there we go. We at least have that corner in. And, uh, let's see, I need one other thing at least to smelt. Okay, we've got some decoration packages. Let's open those up real quick. Learned a book pile, that's kind of fun. Another motivational quote. And a quill. Alright. So... Uh, this game does have uh, a limited kind of physics to it. Um, so I can build right here because we are we have some support, but I cannot build further out. Um, each uh, each floor piece has to have like a connection to the ground. Uh, so this corner can support this piece right here, which is why I can add another one next to it because that corner right there is basically supporting it, um, but I can't keep coming out toward me, um, any farther. Uh, so we basically have to decide, um, to kind of keep building the upper floor, uh, how all we want to support this. Uh, we could either leave, try to leave this really open, um, I could use, like, some vertical pillars like this. Uh, they actually also added horizontal pillars, uh, and we can build them. I don't have the, all the materials I need right now, uh, but you can build them out and help support floors that way instead um, to keep from crowding uh, the like inner floors of your raft so much. Um, so that's another option that we have, um, but we are going to have to kind of figure out what we want to do as far as the rest of this layout. Um, another nice thing about the raft is that you can actually mount some things on walls. Uh, so like if we needed to get some stuff up and out of the way, you can, for a number of different items, you can actually, like, put them up on a wall, just like that. So we could hang our bed if we really wanted to. Um, now, having ours right there actually could cause some problems with uh, how the... Um, uh, how the... My brain is working really slowly today. Um, the ceiling works, and we could get stuck, so... Funny enough, I'm actually going to hang it on this side, and I know it looks a little bit wonky right there. Uh, but we'll we'll move it again later. But we will take advantage of that system uh, with how we're going to do our storage. Um, it will really help us keep things uh, pretty compact. And uh, that will be quite nice. So I'm actually going to see... Yeah, we can. We're going to make one new storage box. And uh, as you can see, we can actually like mount these on the wall. And I know it looks silly to be mounting it right above the ground. Uh, but we, we do have our reasons. Um, I'm also going to just, again, temporarily, we're going to throw our grill right there. Uh, but we're going to start moving some things over. Eating our raft, that's not acceptable, sir. Alright. 
seeds. There. Okay. And the last two things. Uh, I think the recipe went in there as well. Okay. So now we can pick that chest up. And we can actually, essentially, stack these chests on top of each other. And then we get some really compact storage. And we'll be able to fit, uh, I believe we can fit two more of these chests on top of each other, if I remember correctly. Um, so, that will be uh, a really nice way to just keep our storage really compact. Um, so, we're going to, oh, I did not mean to lay down. We're going to start moving some of the rest of our storage as well. And uh, these these have the, the plastic chests have the same properties. So, like I can even stack this like right on top of these. Um, and that works just the same. Uh, it's just a little bit less. Um, oh, I did have one more wooden chest. I forgot about that. Grab that. Let's see if I can. I'm just gonna temporarily dump things into there. Okay gonna put another wooden chest right there so now we've got a nice stack of chests where we can keep stuff and we'll just do our plastic ones right here for now Got everything out of there. Um, but yeah, these wooden chests, they, they just like store so much more compactly. We're going to try to switch exclusively over to them as soon as we can. Um, it just is a little bit expensive to do, especially as we're trying to use a bunch of wood uh, to make uh, structural components at the moment. So... There is all of that. Okay. Open our decoration again real quick, because that's always fun. Fire basket. That'll be fun. Uh, okay. Let's see. I'm, I still might kind of organize these the same way we did. So here's stuff that we need to smelt. Um, I might do... We can do kind of old buildable things and maybe recipes in here for now. And then we can do like key materials. Uh, I'll move the food. Uh, some more key materials. Then in here, maybe we do, like, processed materials. Or a little bit more, I don't know, industrial type materials. Like, scrap feels like that belongs there. Um, plastic can go there. And then maybe in the bottom we do food slash miscellaneous. Can go there. Anything I want to take out of here. Okay, I 
want planks, plastic, and probably the scrap on me. Actually, maybe the rope and, like... Like, like, half of those. Okay. That seems a little bit better. We're going to stop here. There we go. I was able to turn our boat a bit and now we're actually heading a little bit more with the wind out front. That's much better. Okay. Pick all of these up. I'm gonna pick this up. And this is another thing we can actually kind of put on a wall. I don't think the research table can go on a wall. I think it has to be, whoops, has to be on the ground. Actually, you might kind of put it corner like this. That looks nice. And we actually are going to need to remove these for now because they're going to be too tall to do anything with. We can remove that for the moment. And we'll put like a little kitchen area in the back or something. Well, we have our water purifier up front. Maybe we'll move that too. Okay. So, that's a decent way to at least kind of roughly have everything for now. Um, I'll move our torch <laughs> a little bit more central. Ooh, I didn't actually put water in here. That was a bad mistake. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep then real quick, and that'll be purified when we wake up. Oh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> All right, well, we can at least eat. Come on, water. I beg of you, please purify. Um, all right, we'll go grab a coconut. There we go. That'll keep us from dying, at least. Um, okay. Let's move our lantern to the middle of this, which I think is right there. And we'll take our sail down for a moment. Put it right there. And that won't interfere with our walls for the moment. And then once we get a second floor, uh, we'll move the sail and everything up top. So pretty rudimentary design. Nothing fancy, but it will get the job done. So let's see.
So what I'm trying to figure out is how much of this I want like full blown walls. How much do we want it to be windows? Um, where do we want doors? Do we want just full openings? Uh, that kind of stuff. So, let's see, where's my hammer? So, ignoring the bed for now. Maybe on the front, we'll do that, and then the other two will be doors. And we're going to do something special with the doors, so we can ignore the fact that there are not doors there. I'm going to grab some of these barrels while I can. Alright, uh... Okay, so there's one full top row. Uh-oh! And we can even now take our bed off. <clears throat> And uh, we could even just set that, like, right there. And I think, yeah, that'll be okay. okay. Now is our water purified? It has. Okay. So that is looking good. Uh, then on the back... Back and sides. I think that we are going to maybe do two solid... Two solid... And then two window... On the sides. And then we'll have another exit on the back. And that way, if we need to put a lot more stuff on the sides there, they are gonna be, like, solid enough that we could do so. But then we still have a couple of windows. that we can do that with. We have that. And then maybe in the back we just mirror the front. That could be, that could be decent. And then the last thing we'll have to do is figure out how we get up to the second floor. Floor. Um, all right, so while we're waiting to collect a bunch of resources, um, let's see, decoration. What I often like to do for doors whenever they don't actually have to be proper doors is use curtains. Uh, it saves me some wood, and I think it can look nice. So, if you have uh, the full curtains like this, you can just hang them up. And uh, then, when you close them, it ends up making like a, you know, mostly closed door. You get the idea. 
But the nice part about it is that you can even still walk through it. So like if you need to quickly get around your raft, you can. Uh, but it can still kind of visually separate areas. Uh, and I end up really liking that. So for our doorways, that's what we're going to do. We can catch this one a little bit better. I was just rushed because of the shark. And I'll wait on that one until we have some more walls around it. At some point, maybe making some tree planters would not be a terrible idea. Um, I do often find that they can be a little bit more work than they're worth, but... You know, right now we don't have that much wood and anything would help. Oh, I just went right between them. Ugh. Still made use of the throw. All right. Okay, we got that. Now we just need two more solid walls. So one more plank. That'll do. Okay, so one more solid wall there. And then now we can put up our curtains. Uh, and then this side will still need to put up a roof before we can do that. That'll do. There we go. This will be our little interior. Not too bad. So we can... I'll make a little smelting area maybe right back here. And then it's just going to be a game of uh, filling in the rest of the roof, little by little. Oh, still need one more. Now, luckily, we could kind of get started. Because we know kind of what we're doing. We can get some antennas up on the front there. So we can start getting some stuff placed even though we don't have a full roof. right there. Nope. We're gonna grab the shark and just hope our raft doesn't get too far away.
There we go. Okay. Nice. Um, alright. Grill. Put the shark head away. Very good. Okay. So. We are gonna need the other antenna nice and far away. So, that goes right between those two. So, there's the antennas all set. Uh, okay, we broke our spear. So let's worry about that. Make a bolt, and then three more planks. That is definitely something that we need to make sure we have. Okay. So, craft a spear. There we go. But yeah, it looks it looks a lot more cozy in here. I know it's mostly empty, but hey. It's not terrible. Um okay. So, uh, for our receiver, that's gonna go somewhere kind of right above us, I think. Um, so we need to figure out how we want to, uh, have our, uh, access to the top. Um, so... We can either do a ladder or a stair. The ladder would require a lot more... Like, if we did an inside one, the ladder would require a lot more empty space. Or, sorry, the stair would require a lot more empty space. Whereas if we did a ladder, we could do it a lot more... Uh, subtly. So we just need some nails and a bit more wood. And I think the ladder is the way that we go. So... Uh, da -da -da -da, I want nails. Uh, let's get a drink. So we could do it, like, right there, maybe? And that was backwards. Rip. Yeah, I like that. And then one other consideration that we want to make for our raft while we're expanding is 
an anchor. Um, so a stationary anchor would be really nice to have on here somewhere. Uh, that would allow us to be able to drop anchor anytime without having to craft one of those just temporary rock buckets. It does require a bit of space. However... It will help us out because we don't have to craft rock buckets all the time. So the question becomes, do we want that inside our little house? Uh, or do we want it outside, out front somewhere? It would require a hole to the ocean and does take up a decent amount of room. So I think that maybe we do it outside somewhere. of it being inside could be nice. Alright, well, we've got almost a full loop around here. So there's one layer. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of clipping there. Um, okay, so now we're going to have to figure out how we want to do the next set of uh, the next set of As we would ideally uh, rotate. We ideally, want it to I think this might work. We'll see. If we could have no columns basically in the middle, it would be really nice. But right now we can't place anything else.
but with that there, we can get all the way to the middle. So I am now curious. this work. It does! Okay. Uh, we really need to get another one of these that we can stand on. But, the plan is working. Okay, so I need another one of you. Uh, I need more nails. Right there. And then we need another floor right there. Okay. All right, so we need to go to the blue. So it's off that way. All right, we're gonna point that way. I think it was at like 15 something. Uh, 1473. So, as we'll, we'll check it here in a bit. The reason I'm not leaving it on is because we don't want to run out of battery. Uh, we have enough stuff to make some more batteries, but I would rather conserve our battery if possible. Um, so, we'll keep checking on it periodically. And see how we're doing. That is excellent news. We are now officially up and running. So we'll just keep on uh, collecting wood as we go. And I'll keep on filling in the floor here. And heating up the pesky shark. And before you know it, it's gonna be first full-on island time. I'm really glad it worked. I was kind of nervous that our uh, second floor there wasn't going to be large enough and then we didn't have everything spaced out enough. Because the, uh, the antenna do have to be far enough apart and far enough from the receiver or it won't work. Um, which does make sense because, you know, if we're trying to, like, triangulate a signal, um, you do actually have to have antenna far apart for that. Uh, in reality, they would have to be much farther than what it is on this raft, but, uh, I do at least appreciate the rough science behind what they're doing with that requirement. Let's, um... Get the rest of these bars in here. There we go. So... That. Gets us pretty here quite nicely now. Oh, we are about to get very thirsty. Oh, I just missed it. Okay, 
Let's refill this now. And we will continue to fill this in. Don't want to fill that in because the ladder's there. We also can't fill it in because the ladder is there. There we go. We are almost actually all the way filled in on the second floor now. One more row to go. Check on our status here. Uh, yeah, we're about a third of the way to it. Turn that back off. we will soon be able to start using this wood for other projects rather than just building the second floor of this raft which will be very nice it would be nice to be able to start smelting stuff again but right now we need it for building Shark's coming. more of an angle than I thought. Okay, is that enough now? Boom! There we go. We have a second floor. Not bad at all. Ooh, and you know what we're going to do? Is hang this right there. That's kind of centerish. There we go. And that doesn't block us or anything. So, that's much nicer than having it on the floor. And if we can gather up enough resources to make another, uh, another couple of those, that would be quite nice as well. Uh, but for now, that will do. Uh, looks like we are about 800 or so meters away. Uh, I am going to, now that we have a full second story, 
I'm going to bring our sail up top. And we need to go practically sideways to make sure that we can hit this island. But this is pretty darn good. I'm also going to properly center our table now. And do you still work? Yeah, okay. I did scoot it back a little, so I wasn't quite sure if it would throw a fit about that. Alrighty. Alright, so we've got planks in there. Let's see. Our inventory is filling up here. We have so much plastic. Okay. Um, we are going to need a new hook here pretty darn soon. So that will be our next usage of wood, and there was plenty of it. So new scrap hook. And then, let's, what else do we need? A uh, bird's nest. I don't think we ever did make any of those, but that could be good if we can accumulate the wood. Uh, trash can wouldn't hurt. Um, ba 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 ba. Any fun decorations that we want to add while we're just kind of cruising? Oh my gosh, we have so many bomb leaves. <laughs> uh, tables. Tables are Absolutely have a rug. Alright, where's our rug? We need to liven this place up just a bit. We'll put it kind of under our bed. Right. Uh, okay, we don't have any flower. Oh, but there's other plants. Uh, we can, we have clay. We can put some <laughs> other plants in here. Uh, oh, do we not have clay? Did we use all of our clay? Oh, that's a shame. Well, alright, no plants for us. A uh, flag. Can we make a fancy flag? Uh, if we had more wood. How about a globe? Oh, it takes paint. Um. Okay, we've done curtains, bathtubs. That's kind of funny. I think we should have a calendar. Uh, the calendar can go above our research table. Well, we've survived 17 days. That's actually more than I would have expected. Uh, and that is an accurate counter of our in-game in survival time. Uh, so that is pretty cool. Uh, one other thing that we should do is look at some stuff we could do with fine goo. Um, 
in a water bottle would actually be pretty great. So, let's do that. And we should work on smelting up some more of this stuff. And I'll check our progress here. Thought I saw something in the distance, maybe. Oh no, we passed it! Hmm, we might have to break the paddle out. We're gonna get hungry. Um, okay, we're gonna fish, and then we're gonna paddle. Oh no, we don't have a fishing pole. Oh, I totally do have a fishing pole. I'm blind. I have cooked fish. I 100% have cooked fish. again, though. Where did our last shark meat go? I swear we had the raw shark. There it is. There we go. Oh, I can see it in the distance. All right, give me the paddle. That is our destination, everybody. As the sun rises, we approach. Our venture has been successful. That is no island. But sadly, we are out of time for the day. So our adventure on this crazy structure will have to wait until next time. But thank you all for joining me once again on our journey adrift this mighty raft that only grows more mighty each day. Um, it was, we, had a, we had a great episode this time. We got quite uh, quite the accomplishment here with uh, this whole structure built. And uh, we'll definitely keep fancying it up, keep expanding, and, and make this raft even mightier. Um, but that is gonna be all for today. And uh, next time we will be exploring this place right here. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and, uh, definitely be sure to subscribe so you can catch the next episode, and I will see you all very soon.